Alright guys, so this is a barbell versus dumbbell bench press and which one I would recommend and why I would recommend it. You probably are training chest because you want to look better. You want to have a bigger chest and that's probably the first muscle on your physique that ladies in general notice and it makes you more confident and seem more confident in yourself. Genetics plays a huge role as to how good your chest can actually end up looking, but how you train it is also an extremely important part of this process. Well, there's a big difference between doing barbell and dumbbell. Barbell, you're probably just trying to move the weight from point A to point B, whereas dumbbell you can actually activate a lot more muscle fibers. And I'm going to go into this as to how and why this actually works. I'm going to show you guys right now. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try and voice over this for you real quick but you'll notice as I set up for the bench press I retract my shoulder blades give my core a nice stable core by arching my back and then I drive using my legs and the first thing you'll notice with the barbell bench press versus the dumbbell is that you're gonna have a limited range of motion because you're only able to come down to your chest and that's regardless of whether you tuck your arms or don't tuck your arms now you'll notice when I do dumbbell bench press you're able to tuck your arms and you're actually able to go down lower this is gonna enable to you to be able to recruit more muscle fibers within your chest and ultimately create a better sense of hypertrophy long-term muscle growth. Now going off the idea that you're able to go down farther using the dumbbells and ultimately recruit more muscle fibers creating a greater uh, stimulus for hypertrophy, when you're doing the barbell bench press, if for example you do a wider grip, then you're incapable of fully contracting your chest or coming close enough to it because your arms are in a set position when you're doing the barbell pre bench press. Whereas if you're doing dumbbells, you're able to bring them closer together or you can keep them farther apart. So now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate for you the difference of tucking and not tucking my arms when doing dumbbell bench press. So if I tuck my arms like I recently just said, you're able to create more tension and thus recruit more muscle fibers when you're doing the dumbbell bench press. I'm gonna do another video here on how to actually bench press and dumbbell bench press, but you'll notice here that I have my legs lifted up and that's because it increases the tension on your actual chest rather than allocating the weight down towards your lower back and your legs. And this is 10 times more beneficial because your body knows tension. It doesn't know how much weight you're moving. So set your ego aside the next time you're benching. And the last thing I'm going to try to say is that you shouldn't be cheating on either barbell or dumbbell bench press, but it is harder to cheat on the dumbbell bench press. And lastly, the dumbbell bench press is a lot more dominant because it allows you to work on your muscle imbalances, whereas if you use a barbell, your stronger side might take over more of the weight that's distributed along the barbell. Here we go.